Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9 to 5 Toys, and today we are checking out this Deity VO7U broadcaster streaming microphone. Now we've seen lots of companies step into the kind of like podcasting streamer category with more people working from home and the uh, prevalence of podcasts and streamers. So it's no surprise to see Deity throw their hat in the ring with their history of really great professional audio products. And this one is available in a kit that includes a boom arm and a pop filter and has some other really great features that I'm pretty excited about. So let's dive in and check it out. Thanks for watching 9 to 5 Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And as you can see, we are using the Deity VO7U to record this. I've got it plugged into my PC running through Audition. I won't put any effects on it, so this will all be straight audio so you can hear how it sounds directly from the microphone. All right, and a quick overview of the microphone itself. It is a dynamic microphone, so that means that you are supposed to be very close to it when you are talking. You know, and this is in contrast to condenser microphones, which typically you're a little bit further away because those microphones are more sensitive. So typically, dynamic microphones like this Deity are a little bit better for kind of knocking out room noise and background noise, you know, like keyboards, ambient room noise as well. So for streamers and podcasters, uh, this is definitely going to be a plus. And it does come in two different variations. There is the standard kit, which is $170. And that includes the microphone, a little tripod uh, desktop stand, and the cables. And then you also have this boom arm kit, which is available for $200. So just $30 more than the standard kits. You get this boom arm instead of that desktop tripod stand. And looking at the microphone itself, there are physical controls on it. Uh, if you can't, if you haven't seen it already, there's a little RGB light down here on the bottom as well. And then it has a USB-C port on the bottom and also headphone out for direct monitoring. And one other really neat feature is that it has a built-in limiter to prevent kind of clipping when you are recording audio. All right, so as you can see here, we got our hands on the boom arm kit. This is the $200 kit. Uh, personally, this is the way that I would, you know, choose it anyways, uh, because like I said, in a lot of my videos reviewing micro phones, uh, adding a boom arm to it, especially if you are sitting at a desk streaming or doing a podcast, uh, this just adds so much more functionality. It gets it in a better position up closer to your mouth. It also kind of separates it from things on your desk as well. All right. And so first off, let's take a close look at the design of the microphone. The microphone itself has a large overall design with those handy physical controls directly on the body. Under that main Deity logo is a mute button. It's not as easy to actuate as like a capacitive button on the top of a mic like the Quadcast or Solocast from HyperX, but it does take a little bit more force than what I anticipated. You have to push it in just a little bit further. And muting the microphone will make the RGB strip at the bottom flash red as a reminder that it is muted. On one side of the microphone, there is a headphone volume dial with hard stops, and this is for the audio out, that 3.5 millimeter port. And on the other side of the mic is a microphone gain dial. Pressing in that microphone gain dial for a few seconds will enable the RGB lighting ring on the bottom of the microphone. So this is hardware controlled, so there's no need for any app to control the lighting. Once the lighting is turned on, a single press in of the gain dial will change the current RGB setting. And there are 12 different lighting modes in total that range from static colors to the standard RGB rainbow and breathing effects. And then on the bottom of the mic, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone out and the USB-C port to connect to a different recording device. And the kit comes with both a USB-C to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-A cable to work with different devices. The threaded mount on the microphone has two different sizes inside of it. So the two different like standard sizes that you would find on most uh, microphone mounts like this. All right, and now let's talk about the stand itself. While there are cheaper ones you can buy on Amazon, like the one I've been using for the last two years, I think it's like, you know, $20 on Amazon. 16 or $20, something in that range. This one is definitely larger and feels a little bit more robust. From what I've seen on other comparable boom arms on Amazon, this one would be more similar to like a $40 uh, boom arm if you were to buy it separately. It doesn't seem quite as robust as what like the Rode PSA-1 stand would be, uh, but once again, that's like a $100 boom arm. So this is much more affordable and has great functionality and you know works perfectly with this Deity microphone. One thing I wanted to compare here with that cheaper microphone stand that I have, you can tell uh, how much bigger <laughs> this one from Deity is. This is directly underneath it. So it has another at least, you know, six to eight inches of uh, reach. And so that actually lets you 
uh, kind of peek it over the top of, you know, kind of your standard 27 inch monitor. And so if you wanted to peek it over from behind the monitor, you could do that. Um, as long as it's not too high, you know, you might want to double check on the sizing on that, but it works on my monoprice monitor that's back here. And I just got my tape measure out here to measure and it looks like about 20 and a half inches of clearance there. So you can kind of check your monitor and see if it'll peek over. Uh, but this is great. You know, even for extra, you know, wide desks like I have back here, I can mount it all the way on the side and it'll easily reach and, you know, rest right in front of my mouth. So it's nice to have a uh, longer kind of boom arm like this with a lot of flexibility for positioning. When it is kind of fully stretched out to its max, you know, this arm's completely flat, the other one's completely flat. It feels like it can start to be a little bit heavy on the mic end, but it still works really well for the Deity microphone. Another cool feature here is that it has a headphone mount on the little stand here on the mount. So when you have this attached to your desk, you can basically also get a free headphone mount on there, which is pretty neat. All right, so now let's move into how it sounds. Obviously you've been listening to it throughout this uh, entire video, and I think it sounds pretty good. It has a lot of body, a lot of presence to it, uh, kind of a little more emphasis on the low end than what I'm used to with something like the solo cast. And one other thing I wanted to point out, I'm gonna get really close to the microphone here, is because it does have that built-in limiter. And so, you know, even if you get really close to it and you get really loud, uh, this thing's gonna be able to kind of pull that down and tone it down so it doesn't give that, you know, heinous digital clip that's gonna blow out your listener's ears. All right, so editor Jordan popping in here real quick. Uh, so I just wanted to talk about this because uh, this is pretty crazy. I wanted to show off that limiter. So as you can see here, this is that section where I was talking really loud. And uh, as, as I get right up next to the microphone and talk really loud and kind of, you know, scream into it, uh, this level does not get any higher really than what the other thing is. And there's, you know, it's not coming anywhere close to clipping. And I don't have any effects on this. We'll hop over to the effects controls. You can see over in uh, the audio, I don't have any effects on there. We can also check the audio track mixer, no effects there. So this is just straight out of what was recorded in the microphone. Uh, and so that's pretty awesome if you are a broadcaster, you know, an artist who is pretty dynamic and expressive uh, with their vocals. So this will help to keep you from clipping and it works really well. But yeah, moving on, uh, I'm really enjoying the sound of this microphone. And I'll take the pop filter off here so we can get an idea for what that sounds like too. I do think this maybe mutes the sound just a little bit and it sounds a little bit clearer when you don't have the pop filter on there. And that also brings me to my comparison with the HyperX SoloCast. In my testing, I found that the SoloCast maybe had a little bit more presence to it, uh, but here we will do a sound comparison between the two so that you can judge for yourself. The new Deity VO7U is a dynamic broadcast microphone aimed directly at streamers and podcasters with RGB lighting built in and some other handy features up its sleeve. All right, so now let's get the solo cast set up. All right, and so this is my uh, slightly modified or augmented HyperX solo cast here. It doesn't come with this boom arm or the shock mount on it. These are both really cheap things that I found on Amazon to add to it. And I made a video about it and I'll put that up here in the corner if you want to check that out. So this one, you want to be a little bit further away. Condenser microphones usually like between four to six inches away from the actual microphone. And so here we'll read that same excerpt and so you can kind of hear the sound difference. The new Deity VO7U is a dynamic broadcast microphone aimed directly at streamers and podcasters with RGB lighting built in and some other handy features up its sleeve. All right, hopefully that gives you a good comparison between the two microphones. We'll hop back over to the Deity now. All right, and so one other uh, sound comparison that I wanted to do between the two uh, was kind of that background noise test. So dynamic microphones, because you can get closer to them, you don't have to be as far away. Uh, you don't have to have them up as loud. They aren't as sensitive. And so you should be able to get away with more background noise. So here I'm just gonna kind of type on uh, this keyboard in the background and we'll see how it turns out on the audio if you can hear it at all. So yeah, we're just testing to see how keyboard noise comes through when you are recording on the Deity VO7U. All right, now let's hop over to the solo cast. All right, so here we are back with the solo cast and we'll do the same typing test to see how that sounds. Trying to see how the keyboard sounds uh, when we are talking through the solo cast. And I'll do just some kind of standard WASD movements here if you were gaming. And so yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea between the comparisons of the two. And one of my biggest complaints with the stock solo cast on that little stand was how much desk noise it made up, how many like desk impacts. So another thing I wanna test here and try is to see how that kind of resonates through here. And I think in my testing, it does a pretty good job of knocking down. So there's not like a super low resonant rumble whenever there is a desk impact, like what there would be if it had a really direct connection. 
All right, so overall, just wrapping up here, uh, I think Deity has a huge hit on their hand with this mic and this boom arm kit. You know, I think it's everything that you would want in this kind of kit. The microphone itself sounds good. It has some nice physical controls on it. Uh, it has RGB, take it or leave it. You can easily turn it off if you don't want it, but it also turns red when the microphone's muted, which is a handy feature. And then to me, having a boom arm included is almost, you know, critical with pretty much any of these podcasting uh, streaming microphones. And so for $30, you're getting a pretty good boom arm in here uh, with some nice functionality just based on the size. Of course, you can, you know, build out your own similar kit with the solo cast. Uh, I think all in on these components, if you can get everything on sale, it was around $80. I think full price is maybe closer to $120 for everything. Uh, but compared to $200, you know, that is... Uh, quite a bit more affordable but with features like the auto limiter on here it's a dynamic microphone so you could be much closer to it and you know the physical controls in rgb the dd definitely has some features on it that you can't find on the solo cast all right and that'll do it for our review of the deity vo7u streaming podcasting microphone let us know what you think about it down in the comments below and if you're looking for some other videos to watch I will definitely link this HyperX video with the added little mods on there. You can check that out up here, as well as our most recent video down here. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys. to